Junior Bible Experience In the Beginning, Part 1 This story is based on Genesis, Chapter 1, Verses 1 to 13, The First Three Days of Creation. Here we are, comfy in our house, happy where we live. Can you hear the wind outside? When it rains, what do you hear? Do you sometimes hear dogs barking or somebody playing music? Our world, our home, is very busy and very full. But there was a time, long, long ago, when the whole world, the whole of everything, was quiet and dark and still. It was quieter than a secret. It was darker than under the covers with your eyes tight shut. Long, long ago, at the start of everything, there was nothing. No house, no rain, no dogs barking. There was nothing but a, a place, a void, waiting for something to happen to it. It was so long ago, it was before even time had started. But in the stillness and silence and waiting, that empty place was not alone. God was there. God was there before anything else. And the Spirit of God went back and forth over the void. What was God doing there before everything else? The Spirit of God moved over the nothingness, making the ghost of a breeze, the hint of a sound. I think God was preparing to make something wonderful happen, something that had never happened before, because this was the very start of all things. Before God made things, there was just nothing. But then God made everything. If somehow you could be there before there was anything in the stillness and the quiet and the dark, what would you ask God to make first? And when it seemed right, God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Not just a flicker of a candle or a glow from a light far away. There was light where no light had been. There was all the light. Was that what you would have made first? Well, it certainly helps to have light so we can see what happens next. And God looked at the light and he saw it was good. God makes good things, the light, the world, and you and me. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and God called the darkness night. And now time could start, because now you could see time passing. There would be light, and that was a day, and then there would be dark, and that was a night. And then here comes light again, and that's day two. This is amazing. There was nothing ever like this before, because there was no before, uh, before. And there was evening, and there was morning, and the first day of all days was done. And now we're on day two. What do you think God will do? God made a dome over the waters on the earth, a great, grand, blue wrapper around the whole world. And God called the dome sky. So now, where there was just void, there's a little blue dot, our world. It's beautiful, but it's a little lonely. It's like a wonderful new house that nobody has moved into yet. And there was evening, and there was morning, and the second day was done. And here it is the third day, what do you think God did next? God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. 
Imagine the sound, the crashing waves smooshing together, the rattle of water over stones. And now there's land and there's water. It's beginning to look a little bit like the world we know. God called the dry land earth and called the water the sea. And God saw that it was good. And then God said, let there be plants of all kinds, little tiny plants and great big trees, fruit trees especially. And it was so. Do you think the trees and all the plants all appeared at once? Or did God let them have the fun of starting as seeds and then poking their little seedling heads up and then climbing toward the sky? However it happened, the plants covered the dry land, and some plants even went into the water to grow. And they grew, and they put out leaves and flowers and fruit. And now the sound of the wind playing with the trees joins the sound of the sea playing with the edge of the land. This is starting to look and sound like a pretty nice place. And God saw that it was good. And it was evening, and it was morning, and the third day was done. God could have stopped there, I guess. The world is beautiful. The plants and the water and the sky and the ground are good. But it's like a brand new playground with nobody to play in it. I wonder what God will do next. I guess we'll find out in the next story. Do you remember what God made first? Was it the plants? No, it was the light. And then God separated light and darkness, so we could have day and night. And now that it is night, let's take advantage of it and have some good, sweet sleep. And tomorrow we can find out what God did next. Let's pray. Dear God, you make everything, and you see that everything you make is good. Help me to see the good in things. And help me to live for you so others find good in me. Thank you for this pretty world. Amen. The story continues with In the Beginning, Part 2.